I am going to discuss one of the very important topic that is called the signal denoising techniques. So before going in the deep, first we should know what is signal denoising. Means what is the definition of the signal denoising? Mainly signal denoising uh, techniques are used to remove or reduce the unwanted noise from a signal while preserving the desired signal components. Here the word is given denoising, yes no, means we have to reduce the noise, the word itself shows. Next one, uh, there are few techniques for the signal denoising techniques are given below. So that I have told you that regarding the signal denoising referred to a set of method and the algorithms uh, used to remove or reduce the unwanted noise from a signal while preserving the desired signal components. Noise can be introduced during the signal acquisition, transmission or processing. It can degrade the quality uh, and accuracy of the signal. The goal of signal denoising is to enhance the uh, enhance the signal noise is in R to enhance the signal to noise ratio and improve the clarity and improve the clarity and reliability of the signal. So signal denoising techniques can be applied to a various type of signals. Uh, including audio signals, image signals, time series data and many more and etc. The choice of denoising techniques depend on the uh, characteristics of the noise, the nature of the signal and the specific requirement of the application. And some of the commonly uh, used signal denoising techniques uh, include that is first one that is moving average that mostly we don't use these signal denoising techniques so moving uh, average uh, method calculate the average of the neighboring data points within a sliding window uh, the smooth out the noise by averaging out the variations however it may also blur the sharp edge sharp features of the signal lpf means low uh, pass filter lpf means low pass filter low pass filter allow only the uh, only uh, the low frequency only the low frequency component of a signal pass through while attenuating the high frequency noise while attenuating the high frequency noise. Common low pass filter include the Butterworth, Gaussian filter and many more. Next one median filtering. Median filtering. Median filtering replace each data point in the signal while, uh, while median of the neighboring points within a specified window. These techniques is effective in removing the impulse noise while preserving the uh, uh, signal edge while preserving the signal edge. Next one uh, wavelet denoising. Wavelet denoising utilizes the properties of the wavelet transform to decompose a signal into different frequency component. The noisy coefficients are often are then selectively, uh, selectively threshold and filtered, reconstructing the signal uh, denoise signal. Next one, PCA. PCA. What is the full one? PCA. That is uh, principal component analysis. PCA is a statistical technique that can be used for the signal denoising. It involves transforming the signal into uh, a new coordinate system and removing the noise by discarding the principal components associated with the noise. Uh, 
नेक्स्ट वन टोटल वेरिएशन डीनोवाइजिंग टीवीडी टोटल वेरिएशन डीनोवाइजिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मिनिमाइजिंग द टोटल वेरिएशन ऑफ द सिग्नल वाइल प्रिजर्विंग द इम्पोर्टेंट एजेज इट इज पर्टिकुलरली इफेक्टिव इन रिमूविंग द साल्ट एंड साल्ट एंड पेपर टाइप नोवाइज नेक्स्ट वन डब्ल्यू एफ इट इज एन ऑप्टिमल लीनियर फिल्टरिंग टेक्निक दैट एम्स टू मिनिमाइज द मीन स्क्वायर एरर एम एस ई मीन स्क्वायर एरर एम एस ई बिटवीन द डिनोइज सिग्नल एंड द ओरिजिनल सिग्नल इट यूजेज द सिग्नल एंड द ओरिजिनल सिग्नल इट यूजेज द इट यूजेज द नॉलेज ऑफ द सिग्नल एंड द नोइज स्टैटिक्स टू एस्टिमेट द ऑप्टिमल फिल्टर नेक्स्ट वन नॉन लोकल मीन्स एन एल एम इट डिनोइजिंग टेक्स प्लेस टेक्स एडवांटेज ऑफ द रिडेंडेंसी इन द नेचुरल सिग्नल्स बाई कंपेयरिंग द सिमिलर पैचेज अक्रॉस द इमेज और द सिग्नल टू एस्टिमेट द डिनोइज वैल्यू एट ईच पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वन एस एस ए सिंगुलर स्पेक्ट्रम एनालिसिस एस एस ए डिकम्पोज ए सिग्नल इन टू ए सेट ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स अलाउविंग द नॉइज कंपोनेंट्स टू बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द डिजायर्ड सिग्नल कंपोनेंट्स इट कैन देन रिकन्स्ट्रक्टेड रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट द डिनोइज सिग्नल यूजिंग द सबसेट ऑफ द कंपोनेंट दिस वन डीप लर्निंग बेस्ड डिनोइजिंग डीप लर्निंग मेथड्स सच एज द दैट सच दैट सी एन एन एस कन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क हैव बीन अप्लाई टू द सिग्नल डिनोवाइजिंग टास्क दीज मॉडल्स आर ट्रेंड ऑन द लार्ज डेटा सेट टू लर्न फ्रॉम द मैपिंग बिटवीन द नोइजी एंड द क्लीन सिग्नल द चॉइस ऑफ द डिनोइजिंग टेक्निक्स डिपेंड्स अपॉन द स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सिग्नल एंड द नेचर ऑफ द सिग्नल नेचर ऑफ द नोइज इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट to consider the trade offs between the noise removal and the preservation of the desired signal features when selecting the denoising uh, denoising uh, method similarly we have the different techniques like the filtering techniques uh, statistical approaches uh, adaptive filtering sparse representations machine learning uh, tfa time frequency analysis these all are text like machine learning techniques based on the uh, uh, machine learning algorithms such as the deep neural networks can be trained to learn the mapping between the noisy and the clean signals uh, these models are trained on the large data set and can be effectively denoise signals clearly where the tfa time frequency analysis uh, techniques such as the short fourier transform or the spectrogram provide a joint time frequency representation of the signal by analyzing the time uh, varying uh, frequency content of the signal noise components can be identified and suppressed so these all are the techniques for the signal denoising